Hello and welcome to this video. So in the year of 2019 I got myself the chance to purchase one of the most useful pieces of equipment somebody can actually have in his own workshop, which is a lathe. And finding a lathe and buying it usually is very simple because they are available everywhere and they are not that pricey at all, but usually they are way too big to fit into somebody's home workshop, which is why they are so cheap actually. Um, so finding something that is a little bit more of a smaller footprint which somebody can actually fit into their home home workshop is, is is very very problematic actually so a good rule of thumb actually is the smaller the lathe the bigger the price point and um, yeah as these small lathes are very very popular you can only find cheap ones which are completely wasted and way beyond reasonable repair or like the Chinese import stuff um, of course, there are also these Chinese benchtop uh, lathes, which are, yeah, okay for what they are, but they do have limited capabilities, or very limited capabilities, actually. And for the price point they have, they actually are somewhat of expensive, at least in my opinion. So they are not really an option for me. Um, so having a lathe that is small enough to fit into my workshop and um, is of somewhat decent quality actually will cost me an arm and a leg so yeah that's a little bit of a problem however back to my lathe the company i bought it from had it in storage for several years and wasn't planning on using it anymore so they wanted to get rid of it asap so i showed up and i took a look at it and what you can see here are basically the first pictures that i got from this machine so apparently it's green it's ugly it's of completely unknown condition and it's covered in a remarkably even spread coating of grime but as you can see it is very small so it fits all the requirements that i had for this lathe so as my workshop is actually very very small the ceilings are not that high and it's also very narrow i need a way of moving it in here and also moving it at a later stage where i maybe need to repair certain things on this um, the lathe itself is 350 kilograms, which is about 700 pounds. So this is not very easy to do or to move with one person or even two persons. So yeah, the idea was to make a support frame, uh, which has casters underneath. So I can basically just roll it around in here. And um, once it is in its final position, it will have some leveling screws with leveling pads and the casters will be lift off the ground so the lathe has yeah like a stable support on the foundation so without further investigation of the lathe let's first of all build this frame and let's watch this fancy seven minute building montage that i made for this
So, with the support frame finished, the coat of paint applied and the casts installed, we strapped the lathe onto a pallet and loaded it into a van. In the traditional way we handle things out here in the German countryside, a friendly neighbor helped out unloading the lathe with his tractor and was paid by a box of beer. So that's the prologue for the upcoming videos as I already told you and in the next videos we will take a look at the lathe itself, start taking it apart and start the restoration process. So if you're interested, stay tuned for that. Until then, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.